Well, hello, everybody. Uh, today, we actually have uh, a team who's going to update us on some great work that's being done in our community. Uh, Zach Goopser and we've got Liz Corbett, uh, who are both uh, on the steering committee um, for as a part of the Horizon Community Funds, uh, the 410 effort, which is something they're going to share with us about what's making an impact and an opportunity for our community to get together and do some great things. So guys, thanks for uh, taking a few minutes and talking with the community today. So uh, first off, I'm going to maybe Liz ask you if you could fill us in and, uh, and with Liz, your background at uh, Focus on Success and Zach with your work as a tax attorney with uh, KMK Law. Uh, you have, have a professional background and now offering this, these, uh, this work on the steering committee. So maybe Liz, you could walk us through what is 410 as part of the Horizon Funds? So 410 are the first three digits of all the zip codes in Northern Kentucky. And this fund was created to get community involvement and awareness across different charities in our region. So the, the effort was started this pre-COVID, right? Um, and to do this was to an opportunity to, to do work. Um, does that mean I'm writing a check? Does it mean I'm just showing up in an event when we can actually do that again? What does that look like in terms of the, the original concept of 410? So the 410 fund is a giving circle that community members can donate $410 to the effort. And collectively we meet and kind of decide on a subject area and then deploy the funds collectively to one organization. Um, it was started in 2019, so it's, it's fairly new. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. now, go ahead. I just brought a little bit more color. It was, I think June of 2019 is when we originally got together. And then throughout the process, the charities applied in October, November reviewed the applications and then in December there was a get together and a presentation of the check to South Bank partners. So instead of maybe at sometimes thinking what am I going to do individually or and they send my money as a group in this way it's putting together the, the efforts and then collectively deciding where to make the impact is that a fair statement? Correct. Awesome. Exactly yeah it's I mean there's the aspect of raising money it's four hundred and ten dollars per participant but you know, with raising the money, it's about raising awareness for all these organizations. So you get together, you pull the funds, and then the charities are getting together and they're presenting and requesting the grant from the 410. So not only is it about making a monetary contribution to these organizations, it's about raising awareness for these organizations and getting people together and giving those organizations exposure throughout Northern Kentucky. And what a great, what a great model. Um, can you give us some uh, successes before we talk about the impacts of COVID, maybe in these early stages, what kind of impact have you made so far? So last year's uh, 410 fund donation went to the South Bank Partners, which is all about doing art murals around the community. Uh, the focus was we kind of voted down into the art sector and then heard about all these different areas that were beautifying our community and South Bank Partners was selected and funded last year. Great. And so now we're dealing with COVID, um, a lot of interest to try and make an impact to do good things in the community, keep people safe, et cetera. So what does that look like now? Are you just starting the discussions or uh, what does that look like now? Yeah, I think we're at the very beginning stages right now, kind of, you know, hoping, hoping the economy and everything can open back up. But a big part of the 410 is the networking and the awareness and getting everyone together to help solve these issues in Northern Kentucky. So. I think to the extent we can, we would love to be able to meet in person and love to be able to bring everyone together. But if circumstances dictate Zoom calls or electronic meetings or things along those lines, I think, I mean, that's what we'll have to go with. But obviously, we're hoping we can do something in person here and at some point in the near future. So in prior to us not being able to congregate in uh, larger crowds, what did that look like? Did you get together in an evening or... Uh, maybe tell the community about how that looked. Sure. Um, a lot of our meetings were in person. Not only is the 410 about community impact, it's also about the group of people getting together, networking, and kind of building relationships beyond just the donation. So a lot of happy hours, kind of quick calls, getting together, talking through, uh, learning about the charities in kind of a small, intimate setting. And there's some formal events. Uh, the kickoff was at the Globe down in Covington, and then come to December when the check presentation was done. That was at New Riff Distilling, so. That's great. Well, and, a, and an opportunity to, to learn, and I'm sure the agencies that are possibly trying to, to build that awareness, they would show up as well, and you could be able to uh, meet with their staff and their leadership teams, et cetera. 
Exactly. I mean, not only is the impact who the fund uh, selects to partner with, but also all the other organizations that everybody gets awareness about. And that was the hope and plan going into this coming year that we could have a lot more of a presentation aspect from those charities that are coming in or organizations that are coming in. Great. Well, maybe are there any situations that you could share with us, maybe a little success story or a connection that was made that you maybe uh, otherwise would not have happened without 410? Anything come to mind? Projects, the painting projects were located at uh, Riverfront Commons Trail and the city of Ludlow. So not only are we, you know, getting to talk about and learn about the different organizations, but you can see a physical representation of the Fort Ted Fund in the community, which I think is a cool connection as, you know, you drive through these different parts of town, you can see the impact visually. That's great. And I guess the, uh, the organizations that would apply each year, um, that's something that's throughout the year, right? So they're going to reach out to the Horizon Fund, the 410 Steering Committee, and, and offer ideas about where they can uh, better utilize those kind of, that kind of support that you're going to be offering. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, the 410 yeah. will get together kind of, in, as a group, you get together to determine maybe if there's a specific area you'd like to help. Last year it was community vibrancy or, you know, the arts in the community. So it was requesting grants from the specific arts organizations. I think this coming year it's open. So we'll Great. get together and see which organizations or, you know, who the participants of the 410 would like to see applying for grants. And then you know, it moves on from there. The organizations that would like to apply, they apply. And then you go through the review, the application review process. And if I want to be involved, do I have to be a young professional? Do I have to be retired? Uh, do I have to be, uh, what, what, what's the parameters for me to be involved? Anybody and everybody. I don't even think we require you have a 410 zip code in your address. I think it can be anybody and everybody that wants to get involved and wants to help out. Well, it's a great opportunity to pull together, make an impact. And, uh, and I know it sounds like that the, the, the opportunity, we're going to have the website here available so people can reach out. And uh, we appreciate all the work you guys do. And I know that it's uh, uh, just getting started over the past year and a half, but it just the vibrancy of it is just fantastic. So thanks for everything you guys are doing. Oh, thanks for having us. Yeah, no problem. And we couldn't do it without the help of the Horizon Community Fund. They're doing a great job streamlining this, putting everything together. And you, know, you can go to their website, horizonfunds.org, and see the drop down menu and get involved, and you'll have the 410 right there. Awesome. 410. Uh, moving forward, we'll be continued to uh, make it a big impact in the community. Thanks so much. Thanks. Thank you.